I'm Patrick Bailey with IQList.com. Today is August 12, 2018, and I found a new problem. So I've been working on, I have a couple other videos I'll probably be working on or maybe have already come out where I've, I've done some fixes recently to my Prusa. Life is good, but on a recent print, all of a sudden I had an issue with my little fan. It had an air, it stopped blowing, and of course it stopped the print. And then I basically wiggled it and got it back. It's my wiggle problem, right? So I wiggled it, it started working again, life seemed okay, and then it stopped again, then it stopped again, then it stopped again. So what I did is I took this off and started checking the wires here, and I don't see anything noticeable here, but I thought, okay, I'll solder them off, cut new links, and solder them back on and test them. But before I do that, I really want to make sure I really honestly have power. So I looked this up, it's 5 volts power, which happens to be luckily inconvenient for me because I happen to have a... Um, a little SparkFun breadboard here, an Arduino board. And if you're unfamiliar with Arduino boards, uh, once I have it powered, I can pull 5 volts off of it very easily. So in this particular case, I don't know how well it shows up, but people who are Arduino people know this. Um, there's that 5 volt. So I can pull that 5 volt off and plug it in. So what I did is I you know, powered this Arduino board up, put the 5 volts on, and then I touched the wires directly as a test. You know, I came in here and probably hopefully you might hear it come in here and I touch just want to make sure it's okay oh, there it goes so there it goes no problem so the fan itself is okay so I was like okay good uh, so then I went back here I unplugged this from the motherboard so that's the direct connection to there I said, okay, let me check this whole thing out. So I plugged it in there, plugged it in here. So I got the power, because so I want to see where along the line is it messed up. And at first it just worked just fine. But then I said, okay, uh, what's going on, what's going on? So I decided to wiggle this. And if I start to wiggle this, we can see right now it's not on. And there's something. Oh, might have to be plugged in correctly. There we go. So you can see it's running, but I can wiggle this. Well, I was just a second ago wiggling it and cutting the power. Okay, no, no. Anyway, now you're not going to work for me, are you? I did it like two seconds ago. Okay. Oh, there we go. So now we're dead. See? We're dead. I could probably wiggle this and get it. There you go. Get it working. So that tells me somewhere along this line it's gotten frayed. So I need to go take this whole thing apart. Probably solder it back together and, and seal those wires up good. So there's probably a reason they did this redesign on Prusa where now this is no longer... I think they redesigned everything. So this is soft cloth. So maybe, I don't know, maybe in theory, because you can see there's open spaces here. Maybe those open spaces rub. I don't know. Maybe I'll find something here that rubbed against that. Um, but anyway, another little fix, another little redesign proves it did, so I'm happy for that. But let me go. I'm going to dig this up, take this whole thing apart and see if I can find where the direct problem is. But just to want to show everyone, that's a nice way to find out, is your problem in here? You know, plug in the 5-volt power, and wiggle this guy. There you go. Okay, well it's been a few weeks since my last film, so this will be a little bit disjoint on this film. But I'm still having the same issue. So what I actually did before is I actually took I took this whole thing apart. I got the the issue is with you know the fan, which was covered in the first part of the video. I took it all the way apart and I examined the wire and I couldn't find any place that was obviously messed up where it wasn't making the connection. So I even put it under a microscope because I we got a new microscope, so I was playing with it. And I couldn't find anything except, except at the very end there's a little bit that was frayed, it looked like that might have been it. So I cut that last little bit off, stripped it a little bit, and I re-soldered it. Still have the same problem. So I think it's in a place where I just can't see. 
So I went and ordered a couple more fans, just in case, from Prusa. So I'm going to take this apart and just um, put a new fan in. So with that, I'm going to start over here, open up this box, and get this, this wire taken off, this support wire. So I'll just take that screw off. And then in here, we can kind of fiddle with this a little bit because we got all our cables are in here. And once I get that a little bit, I just gotta, I'm just going to unwrap this whole thing. So I'll just have a mess of wires for a little bit. And then my thinking is, if I can take that wire from out of here, unplug it, and bring it back through, I probably won't take much of this apart because I can probably route it through the holes. But we shall see. ties off. Should be three of them up here. Holding the top up. There we go. Okay. The last little bit here. Boom. Oh, there's that wire. And so now, there's my fan wire, this guy, is that right? Yeah, that guy. So I'll go back in here, and we'll see, he attaches, see if I can see, right there. So I'll just pull him out. Oh, it's got a little... There we go. It's got a little thing I gotta push in. But she's out now. So next let me take some of this apart and see if I can pull this wire through. Okay, so let me get this front off here. Should just be these two screws to get this off. That one. Oh, yeah, well first let me get this lower I guess fan duct off. Just redirects it. And get this guy off. And now my problem is it's routed right through here. I just need to. There's not quite enough space to pull this all the way through because I got this. This head's not going to make it through right there. So I need to think about what I'm going to do to loosen it up. The different areas I can take apart. So I'm going to first. Just try to loosen up this back. Let's see if that's going to help at all. I don't want to take it all the way apart. Just enough. things out. Just set that aside there. Okay, well maybe it's not going to be so convenient. Now that 
that might be enough to maneuver it without having to take it all the way apart. There, hopefully, come on. If I get this head out, then I'm good. Cool. Okay, so now I'm going to take the new one, reroute it all up, hook it back up, and hopefully this problem will go away. Hey, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, hey, give it a thumbs down. Also, if you like what we are doing here, subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button. And lastly, have a piece of info to share? Just post a comment.